Hi, I'm Marissa from True North Community Services, and today I'm going to answer clients' frequently asked questions about Empower Heat and Utility Assistance Program. I filled out a complete application six weeks ago and received assistance with my natural gas. Now I need assistance with my electric. Do I need to send you all the document copies again? Yes, we will need a new application and all of the copies of the required documents again. This makes sure that we can process your application more efficiently and give you the assistance quicker. After I sent in my application, I received another bill from my provider with a higher amount. Do I need to send in the new bill in order to get assistance with a higher amount? No, you do not need to send us the new bill. The account information is on your the bill that you originally sent us, and we'll just go and talk to your provider and see what amount is due on your account now. My children live with me every other weekend. Do I need to have their information on my application? No. Household members who are in the home 50% or less of the time are not counted on the household. However, if your children or other members of the household are in the home 50% or more, make sure to add them on your application information and we'll need all of their information. How long do I need to wait to receive assistance again? You may apply again when you have another past due bill. True North does not have a cap on the number of times you can receive assistance or the dollar amount in which you can receive assistance. I got married six months ago and I changed my name on my driver's license, but it has not been changed on the bill. Is that okay? Yes, you are still able to get assistance. Please use the name on your ID when you're filling out your application. And on page four of the application, in the space where it asks for the name on the account, make sure to use your maiden name there. Can I apply for electric and propane on one application? Yes, you may apply for assistance with your primary heating source and your electric on one application, as long as they're both past due or in need of a refill. I have a shutoff notice. Can you prevent my shutoff? Please make sure you're applying for assistance as soon as you know you're past due. Um, however, if you are in shutoff status, make sure to still send in the application we suggest that you contact your provider and see if you can work out an arrangement. Make sure to tell them that you're working with True North to get the assistance. Um, we cannot guarantee that they're going to work with you on this, but this is the best way. The more information the provider knows, the better that they can assist you. Also, make sure to call in to True North's office at 231-355-5880. And um, to let us know kind of what is going on and see if we might be able to help in that situation as well. I lost my social security card. Is it okay to send in my child as proof? No. We need um, the head of household who is 18 years or older. We need their social security card. What you can do is go down to the social security administration office, apply for a new card. They'll give you a document with your social security number on that document. Make sure to take a copy of that and send that in to us and we can take that as proof. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching our Frequently Asked Questions video. We hope we were able to answer your question. If not, please click on one of the other three FAQ videos in the series. Thank you.